If you like pina colada, <laughs> take two. <laughs> take three. If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, doom, doom. If you're not into yoga, if you have half a brain, doom, doom, doom. If, if you like making love at midnight in the dunes on the Cape, then I'm the love that you look for. Write to me and escape. Yes, we had to look up the, <laughs> the words to the escape, the Pina Colada song. Welcome. Welcome to Veronica Says. I'm Veronica and you are? Your husband. <laughs> Formerly known during the daytime as? The old man. <laughs> I'm Darren. And your colleagues call you <laughs> Darren. Yes. We both love a lot of the same fragrances, including coconut fragrances, which is what this video is about. So we're going to be featuring each 15 of our favorite, take four, 15 of our favorite <laughs> coconut fragrances or fragrances that have a coconut note in them. And we're ranking them from number 15 to numero uno in our hearts. Can we first comment on how many actually have coconut i'm a little surprised they yeah it's a lot <laughs> and this isn't everything i had to cut some out can you believe that we might have a problem we might have a might little have problem. A buying problem <laughs> but we do like coconut do we not yes yes and we like vacation right yes our favorite vacation spot is well cancun 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 <laughs> Cancun and all parts south of Cancun on the Yucatan Peninsula. What do we like about that area, babe? Everything. What are some of the things we do when we go to Cancun? Cancun. Cancun. Uh, cenotes. Cenotes. Scuba diving. Yeah. Food. Mayan ruins. Mm hmm Beach. Beach. And? Hint. Beaches. Beaches with coconuts? Beaches, Beaches with, with coconuts? <laughs> Did I get it right? Yes, you did, babe. All right, you ready to jump in? Ready. We got our little beach gear on, my beach cover up, our beach hat, our Hawaiian shirt here. We're ready to go. So the first fragrance, number 15, is Katy Perry's Indie Visible. Indie Visible. So let's go on and spray that and you give us your impressions of it. While he's doing that and giving the alcohol in it a chance to calm down, this one has top notes of vanilla, rum, plum, and pink pepper. And there's coconut in the middle with tonka bean, gardenia, and then in the base, you got musk, sandalwood, and patchouli. Very heavy on the tonka bean. <laughs> now that I know what tonka bean is. <laughs> Can you detect any coconut in there? So keep in mind, we're spraying these and not giving them an opportunity to calm down. So. It smells like somebody spilled some pina colada on me. <laughs> so it feels tropical to you? A little bit. A little bit? Do you like it? Maybe not. Not sure. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, Katy Perry's Indivisible. Do you Indie like it? Visible. I do. I do like it a lot. I don't know what... I detect in this other than like fruity goodness is what this smells like to me. It's light and it's pleasant. It's sweet. I like it a lot, but it's number 15. So that doesn't mean a bad thing, right? We're ranking them from 15 to number one. Um, I got this off of fragrance net, by the way, super duper affordable. Go run over to fragrance net and get you one too, my friends. Number 14. I'm not going to be able to keep track of all these numbers, but we're going down in, in, um, Order. This is Sud Comptoir Sud Pacifique Aloha Tiara. Aloha Tiara. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Not a fan? I don't know. Yeah, this actually smells really stinky on here. I got to give it to you. It's a top note of frangipani. It smells much better on the skin. Top note of frangipani. The middle is tiara, flower, and alang alang. You hate alang alang. I hate, you hate it. I hate it. He hates I it. I do love the frangipani though. Yeah. But I don't like yang lang or whatever you say. <laughs> and it has coconut in the base, vanilla, benzoin, and musk. 
This is one that I do like to layer with other fragrances. I have had a hard time with the Comtour Sud Pacifique fragrances because they smell a little bit synthetic to me, a little plasticky, you know, but you can definitely detect that frangipani at the top. And as it starts to settle down, there's a heavy alang alang. The coconut is more hidden, if you will, than other fragrances. All right, next up is Borea or Berea. Anyone know how to pronounce this? What do you guess? Borea. All right, sounds good to me by Tiziana Terenzi. We have a casualty. Oops. This one has a coconut at the top with almond, plum, and pear. Yeah, that's much nicer, I can smell it. Jasmine, tuberose, freesia, and rose in the middle, and then vanilla, sandalwood, musk, and oak moss in the base. It's considered a floral, fruity fa fa fra fragrance. It's nice. Okay. It's supposed to smell super tropical. Do you get tropical out of that? Not, or even the suggestion of not it? Not even, no. no. No coconut at all. No but coconut. But it's still nice. Yeah. What it's, does it like remind you of? What does it evoke for you? Which island does it remind you of? I don't know what I'm asking here. You're so complicated. It's like, <laughs> do I like it? Yes, no. Good, bad. She's like, oh, does it remind you <laughs> These of... These are dudes. Do you like it? Grunt one for yes? Yes. Awesome. Would you like this on me? Maybe. Okay, fair enough. I feel like this smells like soap. What do you think, like shampoo-y? Yeah, but nice, on the nice side. Like so super it, it, nice smell. It's, it's worth trying. Okay. It's worth trying. So that's Borea by Tiziana Terenzi. You can smell it though. As soon as I sprayed it, you can smell. Yeah. It's good. It's good. <laughs> okay. Don't know why. Next is Dolce, Dolce and Gabbana's uh, Garden. Oh. Yeah, it's down there at the yeah, bottom. We, the garden. I just thought it was Dolce. And I have to quickly look this up because I forgot to add it in, but there it is. <laughs> so here's what the bottle looks like. It's got this florally thing at the top, which is kind of cool. This is a flanker of the regular just Dolce, which is actually a beautiful floral fragrance. What do you think of that? It's very nice. That's, I'm gonna guess Rose. You're dead wrong. <laughs> I was gonna say you're Very correct. Wrong. We're both wrong. It's got um at the top magnolia, orange, okay. and neroli. Everybody knows magnolia and rose are very similar. Actually, they they kind of are. They can trick the nose, right? And then you got coconut, frangipani, alang alang in the middle, and in the base it's vanilla absolute, almond milk, and sandalwood. Love sandalwood. What do you think? I love sandalwood. This is nice. This is nice. Okay, do you detect the coconut in it? No. No. Okay. Though I wouldn't, <laughs> unless I had a coconut in my hand with my nose right here, and then I think I would detect the coconut. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is from a guy who has actually like sliced coconuts open for me, by the way. <laughs> so next is Korloff. Have you? I don't know. No. Maybe? Okay. Sounded like, Cancun, Sounded like a good story. Sounded like a good story. Outside of the pyramids, remember that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Korloff Gold by the House of Korloff. And this one has coconut at the top, strawberry, and gardenia together, which sounds super nice. The middle is tiara flower, frangipani, and jasmine. And the base has vanilla, musk, and cedar. This is also a super inexpensive one on fragrance net, you guys. You can't beat the price for this. I think it was between 20 and 30 bucks for this big bottle. What do you think? I can barely smell it. It is super soft. It's super soft. It's not bad. I just, very indescript for me. Like somebody mumbling in the background. <laughs> A whisper. I can hear it, but I can't tell you what it is. Morning. <laughs> Something like that. I can detect the coconut note sort of far in the background. I don't understand why this is ahead of Dolce. Not even a little bit. 
I think I like the roundness of it and the, the way that it's blended better than the Dolce. The Dolce notes are a little bit more maybe loud to start off with. This starts off soft and pretty. Oh no, I think we may have to reconsider the whole ranking <laughs> and get back. I thought he was going to say like our whole marriage. We have to reconsider because concealer. <laughs> Shh, quiet. Okay. <laughs> Moving along. That's our joke, by the way. I'm sniffing something that hasn't been sprayed. Can I critique the bottle? Yes, because I hate it. This looks like the cheapest, laziest marketing I've ever seen. I'm already biased because it looks like it was developed by a 14 year old. What can I say? This Sorry. is <laughs> Serge Luton's Datura Noir. It's Serge. I thought it was Serge A2 or Serga when I first bought it, but I learned through Fratcom it's Serge Luton's. Datura Noir. This is an amber vanilla with tuberose, almond, coconut, and heliotrope, which I love. It smells fake. <laughs> like plastic fruit fake. Like How's plastic... this better than Dolce? I'm gonna contest. I'm contesting the rain. <laughs> this is so far much better than anything else. I don't know, there's something in this that I really love. I think it's this heliotrope note. There's osmanthus in this as well. Lemon blossom. I think it's, again, a little bit more sophisticated than the Dolce. The Dolce size, these are all really, really nice. I love no, all of these No, they're not even fragrances. the same ballpark. Not even. I love them Not all. even close. Don't listen to her. Way better. <laughs> Way better. There. Okay. All right, we can move along. <laughs> Grab that one. This is Sarah Jessica Parker's New York City Crush. So, you know who Sarah Jessica Parker is, yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Carrie, I've seen the entire Sex series. The City. Which is not bad for a straight guy. <laughs> so, as you're checking that out, for everyone else, the bottle looks like it actually comes in this container. Professional. The word <laughs> is Wait a minute. Before you get all excited. Let's compare. Let's compare. Let's compare. Oh, wait. You didn't <laughs> keep it out. I got faked out. You got faked out. Yeah. Yeah. So packaging. This, this... Professional. It is. Reminds me packaging. of Stetson. <laughs> Ooh. From what? The That's 70s? I don't know. Late 70s, early 80s, something like that. Sarah Jessica Parker. This is you know, coconut, vanilla, and white flowers. I did get some coconut. It is mumbling like <laughs> the 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 Korloff. the Korloff, but much more pleasant. I really like this. It's I like nice. that it actually comes across kind of musky. I like it. Like a skin scent almost with some coconut and flowers in it. It's really sweet. It's restrained. Ooh. It's controlled. Controlled and restrained. I like it. This is a great daytime coconut scent, don't you think? Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's a winner. Okay. Awesome. Dolce is still better. <laughs> Next is one that to me is really like a wintertime scent, but it's got coconut in it. <laughs> it is Laura Mercier's from the Or Eau Gourmand series, Ombre Vanille. Ombre Vanille. Really pleasant. We're gonna have to take language courses to pronounce these. I know, and, and I need to French. take like pronunciation courses because clearly I stink at it. And some of these are hard. And we're, you know, we're decently educated we got folks. Education. We got some education behind. I took us, French, and, we, and I we can't. still can't pronunciate some things. This is no. You don't like it? How's that better than the Sarah Jessica Parker and the Dolce? I love it. I think it's really beautiful and sweet. It's not bad, but it's no. <laughs> it's not. It's not bad. So it's just not better. Oh, that's a good. 
Okay, let that calm down a bit. It's a little bit loud right at the moment. It's orchid, heliotrope, and tangerine at the top. It's got coconut and almond in the middle. And then sandalwood, your favorite note My in favorite. the base. Maybe that, what am I doing? Maybe that will convince you. What do you think? I think it's pretty. It is pretty. I'm not saying it's not pretty. And you like it on me. I do, but I'm saying the other two are better. Okay, which ones? You're liking, he's I'm really loving this really Dolce Garden, really struggling with the Ladies, ranking here. there you go. Take the man's advice. Dolce Garden is the bomb. And what do you think? This one you like too? Yeah. Yeah. This you still You have heard the man one. speak. This is better. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. There. All right. The piece. next ranking down, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, in seventh place, we have two that are tied. Do we do both together? Sure. We have oh, the replica. Hibiscus Palm from Erin Lauder, the daughter, I believe, of Estee Lauder. And we also have, the replica. boom, Replica Beach Walk from Maison Martin Margiela. So let's do the Hibiscus Palm first which a lot of people say is a classic resort fragrance, Ooh. but an upscale resort. The fancy, True. That fancy is a very resort. good description. Is it? That or is it just, it. did I just no, totally suggest it. how you should receive it? It work, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful, it's right? Nice. You're going to get me a full bottle of that? <laughs> Maybe. You want to get I mama, you... get mama a full bottle. Okay. I walked into a Louis Vuitton store to go get you something. I saw the prices. I walked right back. <laughs> <laughs> a couple years ago, but still. He's talking trash. This man does well on the shopping for me. Don't worry. But this is Aaron <laughs> Estee Lauder um, Hibiscus Palm. Very nice. Very expensive fragrance. That's really? what I'm saying. You should get me the bottle. How much? For my like half year Christmas. I don't know, guys. How much is this? I think it's. Uh, somewhere in the two hundred dollar range for a bottle. What do you think? It's classy. It's classy. It's classy. We like it. And we like it. Yes, I like. Very it. pretty. That has hibiscus, alang alang, palm leaf, lotus, and ginger at the top, and then it has frangipani white flowers in the middle, and the base has coconut milk, ooh, vanilla, and musk. Tied with that. And to me, equally beautiful. Let's see if you agree. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. Is Beach Walk by Maison Martin Magella. ¿Qué piensas? Well, it's better once it calms down. It is nice. The other one is way better. This is very like soapy beachy, don't you think? Yeah. The other it's one's like way shampoo, better. really nice soap with some coconut. I do get the coconut in this. But I also get the citrus at the top. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay, but you like the hibiscus palm. Way more. Take notes, y'all. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So, this what number is that? It's killing me. In sixth place is. Be very I've been there all night, Ariana. I've been there all day. Nicki Minaj. Those are not the words. I made that up. How does it go? You got me rocking side to side. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> oh gosh, you guys. This is how things go in our house. <laughs> um, I lost the, the description of it, but this is Cloud. Let's just roll with it and see what you think. Cloud by Ariana Grande. You guys already know how I feel. What do you think of this? It is wonderful for her target market of 14 year olds. <laughs> yeah. It's not bad. Again, I question the ranking. This does have coconut in it. Do you detect the coconut? I don't know what, what I'm detecting there. Maybe. Does it smell like a cloud of marshmallows and sweetness and spun candy? No. Cotton candy. Does it smell like cotton candy, no. Johnny? No. No? Okay. No. <laughs>
I do get a little bit of coconut in this, but mostly other sweetness. I really like this. Do you like the fragrance overall? Don't hate it. <clears throat> okay. Number five. I oh, shouldn't Lord. even tell you what these are. She thinks I I'm should... biased. I do. I am named I biased. I totally do. <clears throat> which is probably very true. Probably. This is. But I have nailed a couple of them. A few. I've got a couple long. <laughs> Eau de Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. This is the O, not the actual Soleil Blanc, okay? So, um. How much was that? A lot. This is the Eau de Toilette. I got this Ooh, on sale, spicy. but I think at the time it was a lot. Let me just leave it at that. That's interesting. I get like nothing but pepper on this. <laughs> I think it needs to come. It down. is, you're right. It is really sort of sharp. Is there pepper here? There's no pepper. Pink pepper. Pink pepper. Oh, there's pink pepper. Oh, I got one right. <laughs> I'm like nose deaf. It's <laughs> nose deaf. It's got a lot of citrusy notes at the top. Bitter orange, bitter. Neroli, citron, bergamot. Neroli, I believe, is like the isn't that the oil of the orange peel or something like that? Pistachio, pedigrain, cardamom, no, pink papa, and caraway. <clears throat> In the middle, tuberose, orange, Tunisian orange, not any other kind of orange, okay? Uh, orange blossom, alang alang, jasmine, galbanum, and in the base, it's coconut, oh, vanilla, that's... tonka bean, amber, benzoin. That's almost every scent in the world. <laughs> but Tom Ford is the man. He doesn't do any wrong with his scents. <laughs> Heads up, I'm probably going to be buying the regular Soleil Blanc. Okay, I'm glad I did groceries. You can groceries. wear it too. Yeah, I'm glad you did groceries too. Otherwise, we wouldn't, wouldn't be able, be to, able eat to afford it because yes. I'd be spending our money on fragrances or whatever. But the sale is coming up, y'all. Sephora sale. By the way, I got my Sephora sale part one up. Sephora sale part two and part three are loaded. By the time you see this video, part four will be up. Make sure you go check these out. So that's Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc. Do you think it's coconutty? Mm -mm. I thought it was very peppery. Yeah. But I liked it. I still so, liked it. Yeah. Coconuts in the base, really far off in the it distance. It doesn't do any wrong. All right. Ooh. Next is The Only One Intense by Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce & Gabbana. I, it sounded good. What can I say? This is an amber floral. At the top, it's Neroli green apple and Italian mandarin. Don't get it twisted with Sicilian mandarin. <laughs> In the middle, it's jasmine, coconut, and orange blossom. You love this because of the apple, don't you? I love that apple. And in the base, it's vanilla, cashmere wood, and cedar. Oh, it, it's nice. It's nice. This is a beautiful fragrance regardless of coconut or not. Let me get that again. Did you, you remember which one it was? Yeah, the one on top. I love this. Do you detect coconut though? Not in the opening at all, obviously, since it's not in the opening. No. <laughs> As this calms down, it does become like creamy coconut with the and jasmine more, mixed up. A little bit more cr that, you said cream. You said cream, yes. Yeah. Like a very but it's creamy, not, very, very pleasant. Yeah. A milky, beautiful coconut in the middle, but it has the florals on the side and enveloping it. So that's the only one intense Dolce and Gabbana. And next in the number three slot, we're getting close y'all. It's Holidays by Mancera. All right. I've never heard of them. Yeah. Are they expensive too? They can be. But you know I shop discounts, right? Can y'all vouch for me in the comments? So my husband doesn't think I'm spending all our money on perfumes and makeup and crap. We know she is. <laughs> Holidays Mancera. You don't like it? You liked it on me. Well, maybe, but right here, it's it's like not even better than the Sarah Jessica Parker one. Ooh. And the Dolce is better. It's okay. Do you detect any coconut in it? No. 
Okay. No. What if I told you it was really, really expensive? Like five hundred dollars a bottle. You'd say you, it's too is much. it better? No. And say you got ripped off and you're spending too much money. We need to talk. You have to well, pause the video. No. Thank God. No, I'm just joking with it's you. It's not. It's not. I like it. It's coconut. I'm not saying and it's not. It's just like, it just why wasn't is it? better than the others. No. Okay. Not fair enough. Close. Fair enough. Not even close. Definitely better than Carrie, Katy Perry. The man feels very strongly about. And this. better than Ariana Grande, but. Holidays Mancera. Coconut and bergamot at the top. Sierra Flower, Sea Notes, and a Lang Alang in the middle. Vanilla Pod, Sandalwood, and Musk in the base. In the number two slot. This is a shocker. I'm getting sweaty here with this one. You ready? Yeah. It is Boom. Thank you. Next. I don't know if that's how the song goes. <laughs> Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. And this one has raspberry and pear at the top, coconut and pink rose in the middle, and then macarons and musk in the base. You guys, I don't know what Chick Chickadee is doing with her packaging here. This looks like an Easter egg cracked open except in the shape of a heart. The bottle is okay. So I mean, between these two fragrances, my girl Ariana is doing some serious children's playset kind of. <laughs> <laughs> this, rem this reminds me of My Little Pony. Yeah. The plastic in those play sets when you were little. So, but what do you think of that fragrance? I'm again thinking this whole numerical system is rigged because it's not, it's not number 14. Number two, you mean? I'd give it number three tops. It's not bad. It's just, it's boring. Really? It's boring. He likes it on me, but he doesn't know that. Probably. <laughs> Do you detect the coconut? I detect disappointment. <laughs> I detect <laughs> lots of disappointment in this numbering scheme. Woo! All right. Sheesh. Sheesh. Let's hope this one does better. In number one. Boom. Girl, girl on, girl on, terracotta, the queen of tropical fragrances. That's a little suggestive language for you there. What do you think? Oh, you haven't sprayed it. So while he's doing that, we have Tierra, flower, coconut, and bergamot at the top. In the middle, jasmine, the note you don't like, alang alang, and orange blossom. Oh, it's got a lot of that too. And in the base, it's vanilla and musk. But it's nice. This is in my number one tropical coconut fragrance spot. No, this gets, I get tropical. Yay! Finally, something tropical. Do you like it? I do. I do. It's do pleasant. Don't ask me any more. <laughs> Description. It's like yes or no. Well, how much yes? I don't know. A lot it's of yes, a, yes. a little yes. Kind of yes? It's a strong, medium yes. Okay. But you do like it when I wear it. I do like it. I do like it. I do like that. And the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> do you like, remember what your favorites are? I like Tom Ford never goes wrong, which is good because you pay for it. I did like the uh hibiscus the palm. daughter of aaron yes. uh, estee, estee lauder's daughter i think that's i did, like, I did aaron, like it i thought hibiscus that, palm but the description was perfect it does smell like a good resort so mama's gonna be getting a full bottle of that y'all not disappointing and that's new york city crush i think this should be towards the top i don't know why it's gotten a bad rap no, they all, they, I love all of these. You Let's be clear. You at the very bottom. It's not on the very bottom. The very it's bottom. number 15, 14, 13, number 12. It got a D minus score. <laughs> and it's a This is like A plus, plus, plus down to like a B. None of these are C's or D's. Let's be clear. I like them all. You should like this one more. <laughs> Okay, so you think these two plus Tom Ford and the Sarah Jessica Parker New York City Crush are the best? Yes. Awesome. Yes. 
Well, folks, that's our video of the top 15 coconut fragrances. There were some that didn't make it into the video. They're beautiful. They're just, they weren't as special as these. And, uh, you know, we'll take you out with a song, won't we? You know what? We should hear from them. Yes. Their top three coconut fragrances. In the comments? Yes. Awesome. Yes. That's the man's request. And see Please if, grant his wish. If I'm on point or not with some of my opinions. If you're a dude, especially, and you're watching this, do you agree with him? Do you like Dolce Garden on the ladies? Do you like Soleil Blanc? This is Eau de Soleil Blanc, but nonetheless, on the ladies, Terracotta, and New York City Crush by Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah? Yeah. And we're going to leave you with the Beach Boys. We are? We are. Aruba. I'll let you do this. <laughs> Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you. Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Key Largo, Montego. Baby, why don't we go Jamaica off the Florida Keys? That's it. That's all you get tonight. All right. Have a great one, friends. Take care.